Action. Action. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Welcome back to Narrowboat Chef. Today we are, well I am going to show you how to do the apple crumble that you would have seen in our last video. In the last video we did our Christmas dinner for two with the Aussie take. So today I'm just going to show you how to do that dessert. Really quick and easy, perfect for just throwing together really. This recipe is one that my mum used to make quite often at home in Australia. And I'm going to start by peeling some Granny Smith apples. We're using Granny Smiths because basically they're perfect for apple crumbles. They're sweet but they've got that tartness to them. We found these quite easily um, just in the Morrisons. But I think you can use, I think you've got Bramley apples over here that are used quite oft often. Um, but we would recommend Granny Smith apples because they're awesome. And they're Australian as well. So, you yeah, know, <laughs> extra, extra awesomeness there. <laughs> So I've peeled the Granny Smith apples and I'm going to chop them up now into thin slices so then I can stew them with some brown sugar. Uh, so my apples are all cut up ready to go so I'm going to stew those. They're going to get a little bit of brown sugar, not too much. And then I've got some cinnamon swirl baking seasoning which we got from the Herb and Spice Co in Leek when we went for a narrowboat holiday down there not too long ago. So it's got cinnamon, allspice, ground cardamom, ginger and nutmeg so I think it's going to be awesome. smell really good. getting very soft. As you can see there's quite a bit of uh, liquid in the bottom of the pan. That is just from the apples. I haven't added any liquid, any oil, any butter or anything at all. They're just stewing in their own juices. Probably about another minute and they'll be done. So my apples have finished stewing and I've left them just for a couple of minutes to soak up the juices so that they keep all of their flavour. And I'll transfer those into some dishes. So the apples are soft but still holding their shape, which is what we want. So I'm going to add on the crumble. five minutes and I can smell them now. Oh, 
look at that. Beautifully done. Nice. You can hear them sizzling as well. Sizzling. So we're getting some, uh, using some vanilla ice cream and it's just Madagascan vanilla, Morrison's brand. <laughs> I'm not endorsing it or anything, I just, it, w it was just there, we bought it. <laughs> well, tell them the truth. We bought a pot the day before, and that evening, we're like, let's just have a taste of it. And then what do we have to do the following morning? Go and buy some more. Because we <laughs> ate, we it, ate all. it all. crumble now that is going to be our Christmas dessert for our, to go with our Christmas dinner now of course we need a taste test listen to that crumbliness mm. that's good Ryan are you jealous you're holding the camera Yes. Mm. I just mm. put my finger in it. No, no. 